The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. Wilco Valley takes an early 2-0 lead in this one against Lenape. It's Andrea to Norland as she rolls for the hoop for two for the Rangers. Wilco then takes a 6-2 lead here off the baseline jumper from Brittany Todd and the Rangers are off to a good start. But Lindsay Sabo, Lenape Valley cuts Wilco's lead to one here as she hits one of her patented three-pointers and it's 6-5 Wilco Valley. And then on the kick out to Bree Simcoe, she sinks the long jumper and Lenape Valley takes an 8-6 lead after one quarter of play. Okay, second quarter action we go and it's Lindsay Sabo, Lenape Valley with another D3 for the Pats and they go up 11-7. Lenape would push its lead to 21-9 here before Morgan Penku of Wallkill loads up and she cans the three for the Rangers and it's 21-12 Lenape Valley. And it's Penn Q again as she goes to the bank and it's open as she gets the three and Wallkill trails 21-15 at the half. Okay, third quarter action we go and watch Lindsay Sabo from practically downtown Stanhope bury the three and Lenape Valley goes up 26-15 over the Rangers. And then watch Melissa Rave of Lenape Valley off the good ball movement, she cans a three and the Pats are on a 13-0 run and lead 34-15. Wolkiel finally gets on the scoreboard here. Watch the inbounds play. It's Morgan Penku with the wing three-pointer, but the Rangers trail 36 to 18 at the end of three quarters of play. All right, fourth quarter we go and watch Tori Hardigan with the jumper off the offensive rebound for the Rangers to cut Lenape's lead to 38-21. And it's Hardigan again with a long jumper for Wolkiel to make it an eight-point game, but Lenape Valley would hold on as they post a 44-32. Freedom Division win as Jordan Catelli gets the post-game reaction. We just wanted to beat them. Um, we, we knew we could beat them. We worked really hard this season and we just wanted another Freedom Division win. We um, were kind of slow at first and after halftime we kind of just picked it back up and just wanted to come out with a win. We tend to play better on away games but tonight just wasn't our night. You know, we uh, couldn't seem to get it together in the first half but I mean third quarter kind of came out in different uh, Different ball game, but we pulled it through, like you said. So W's a W. And then your performance today. You guys had a you had a good game today, and um, it wasn't a, it wasn't pretty today. You guys played as a team, but you guys were able to win and uh, advance. And just talk about your performance here this afternoon. I just try to help however I can, rebound, shoot whenever I need to, pass the ball. It does I just do whatever needs to be done. Me and Mel have been playing basketball since fifth grade, and we. Like, we're unstoppable together. There's no way you can stop us, and I love playing with her. Talk about your ability just to shoot the three and pretty much do anything you, you pretty much want to, uh, create off the dribble, drive, and just shoot the deep three. Um, I kind of just practice day in, day out, and I just work my hardest at practice, and I just keep going strong every day. It makes my job a little bit easier, I have to say, because uh, just with her leadership, you know, on the floor and directing everybody and helping me out on the sidelines is, is you know, obviously a big help. and. Um, you know, and her and Mel do a nice job playing well together on from the, the give and goes and things like that. So I think also with her teammates, they know how she plays. And for the last couple of years, they've really grown together as a team with her. So, um, you know, my three seniors are going to be, all of them are going to be greatly missed. So. And then you guys clinched the seventh seed in the North 1 Group 2 State Tournament. You guys will play Dumont in a couple weeks at home. Talk about how it is to have a state game at home. Oh, it's awesome because we know we're going to have a lot of fans and it's going to be a very good game, I think. It feels awesome. I just want to go in, just take a win, and then go to the next game and see what we do after that. This will be our second one. Uh, I think we the last one was two years ago. Um, it feels good. I mean, granted that we do play better away, um, but I'm hoping, you know, the crowd, our own crowd, and doing that it's a state game, not an in-season game, that we can kind of feed off of that and pull out a W for that first state game.